This podcast is part of the Loosely Connected Network. Visit www.thelooselyconnected.com for more great podcasts, networks, Twitch streams, YouTube channels, and more. This episode of No Time for Time Travel is brought to you by Loot Crate. You guys can use a 10% off for Loot Crate using promo code NTFTTPod. On with the show. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love the power club. Come with me if you want to live. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love the power club. No time for time travel. All right, welcome to the No Time for Time Travel podcast, where we are a podcast for nerds by nerds. My name is Tony, and joining me this week, all the way from Sweden, is Kwa. Hello there. I still don't know what accent that is. It's not a real accent, I don't know. I just speak really weird. <laughs> it, it sounds a little bit like, um, like you're in the Harry Potter universe. <laughs> it's like a little bit British, yet not really. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what it is. But um, but yeah, uh, the, the, today's topic uh, suggested by, um, I think it was Adam Redding from Super Best Friends uh, Video Game Sleepover. Mm-hmm. Um, he just asked us what our opinions are for the Spider-Man Far From Home universe. Sorry, not universe. I meant movie. Far From Home movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And um, yeah, that'll be the main topic. But before we get into that, how have you been doing? Uh, Good, man. I'm actually about to go skiing later on today. So... Uh, go to work and then uh, a couple of my colleagues and I are gonna uh, jump on the train and then it's like a seven hour train ride <laughs> to what? We're, we're to, get there. Huh? to where? it's in Sweden still but it's like a little bit more north it's not like the very top uh, top of Sweden mm-hmm. but it's in between the, the top or the north of it and Stockholm oh okay so yeah. it's just like a, a ski trip kind of like over here go to Big Bear or Mammoth or something yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's pretty much. I think it's like Mammoth, right? Mammoth is around six, seven hours away driving. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a Mammoth trip. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. So it should be fun. Uh, yeah, so I, I was just packing last night and I need to double check what I need to bring later on. And that's it. Man, I, I don't think I'll ever be able to go skiing because I'm so afraid of heights and that. There's bunny slopes. Well, you still have to go on that thing, right? That that brings you no, up there? No, bunny slopes you can walk up. Oh, really? Yeah. I did not know. Oh, depending on most places, but but yeah, but you you just walk up. Hmm. I gotta make sure before I go that there are walking areas because I oh, yeah. I will not survive on that thing, the lift. <laughs> I just the good news is Tony, if you fall, there's snow, but and the then s- it will it will reduce the inflammation of the fall if you just stay there. Because <laughs> I uh, I'm icing myself. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, though. <laughs> See? Uh, how are you, man? Uh, you've been busy doing homework, I see. Oh my gosh, I've been busy doing a lot of things, man. Like, still doing the wedding planning stuff. Uh-huh. And then we, we finally got the, the save the date cards, and um, we're still looking for a coordinator, like a day oh. of coordinator. And I still need to work on the actual invitations. And oh my gosh, just so many things. And then the website, I need to finish up the website. Um, oh. Yeah, and then in addition to that, I start. I don't know why I did this, but I started a pharmacy IT podcast. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean something I've always wanted to do, and I feel like after doing two podcasts already, I could do a third one that's like as professional as I can. Um, oh, what is was the second? Are we the second one or the first one? No, this one is the first one I've ever done. What was the second one? The second one is the local like um, pharmacy association podcast. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think that's what I was confused about because I remember you had a pharmacy podcast, and then you said that, and you you said you, you're making up another pharmacy podcast. And yeah, so what is the third one? Confused, yeah, so the why. second one was mostly interviewing people about how they got into their career and mm-hmm. um, you know all the different avenues of that field, and then the third one is about my specific field, and it's uh, like healthcare, okay. IT, and like technology and pharmacy. So, okay. Yeah. So yeah, that that's what, that's what I've been doing mostly, and that, that's I don't even know why I do this to myself, but I do like three episodes a week for the pharmacy IT one. Yeah, like, yeah, you do a lot of questionable things, Tony. I know, I know, <laughs> but you know what? I better do it now before like having uh, kids and stuff. So and this is the only time I will be able to do it. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> with, with podcasts, I, I feel like it's a little bit more relaxed. So. But you know me, I'm not relaxing. I, I know. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess you want to keep your life consistently uh, uh, consistent with the amount of anxiety. Yeah, I mean, if I don't do the podcast, then I'll just go play League and I'll have the same amount of anxiety. <laughs> oh, or you can just not play League and just rest. Yeah, I, I need rest, actually. I do need rest. 
I, I know. <laughs> it's like <clears throat> when you were um, going back and forth to uh, Ventura mm-hmm. uh, for your previous pharmacy job. Yeah. Then, and then you're like, man, and you were com- complaining about back problems. Yeah. When, when it was obvious that you just sit too much from driving. Yeah. And then <laughs> now that I'm like five miles from home, all that time driving has been open to me and I just fill up with other stuff. <laughs> But the back problem is gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, the back problem is gone, which is oh, is very it is surprising. it completely gone or is it like just still there? Uh, I have zero pain. So, oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I I mean I think maybe I still have herniated discs. I'm not sure because mm-hmm. I never did a, a follow up MRI. But there's mm-hmm. there's completely no more symptoms, and that's always a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm actually very shocked because <laughs> that kind of uh, injury that I had. It uh-huh. typically doesn't um, heal. It doesn't like the discs don't really go back in, and then you oh. kind of live with it. So, oh. so for me, I feel like it was I was really lucky that um, my symptoms went away when I drove less. So, so now you know you should sit less by doing less podcasts, Tony. Yeah, but I'm still running around a lot because I have more time to do stuff, but not That's really a lot. You sit with Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm actually more out and about doing stuff. That's why. So. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, I'm just as, as uh, associating with like. Okay. Now you have three additional podcasts, which is three additional uh, three additional hours, which is driving to Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really, because this podcast is once a week, and then the other um, the other two podcasts are about 15 minute episodes. Oh, 15 minutes episode. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, that that's that's reasonable. Yeah. You do like hour episode. Okay. Oh no! You know how hard it is to like talk by yourself on the podcast. <laughs> is is that what you did? Talk yeah, by for oh. for my healthcare IT one, like I I talk by myself about like current trends or like you know going over uh, concepts and stuff. It is oh, okay. so hard, man. It's like I, I it makes me appreciate this podcast a lot more because I have you and I have Lamb so that we can take turns talking. You know. So now that we know. But next time, Lam and I are just going to sit there <laughs> and you talk. You're going to just like... <laughs> sit there quietly. <laughs> well, you'll, we'll still hear your breathing. And I'll like... I'll probably like increase the volume. <laughs> the soothing sound <laughs> about breathing. Yeah. It will help so, people sleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is what people log in for. I mean, to listen to our podcast for. Yeah. That's... Our breathing. <laughs> you know... One hour of just constant breathing. <laughs> You know, it's, it's really funny. Like the other day I was at an association meeting and then like the one of the, the basically the president of that meeting um, was announcing to people about my music album. And then um, mm-hmm. and then he also said something about the podcast. And then he was saying, if you guys uh, have issues sleeping, just download his stuff and you'll just knock out right away. <laughs> <I'm> like, <"What?" laughs> that's so sad. I know. I mean, that's a compliment with the music, but not with the podcast. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's very true. <laughs> yeah, but it was um confusing because uh, people came up after me. and was like, "Wait, do you have an album or do you have a podcast?" And I'm like, "I I have both." <laughs> <laughs> so either way, download both. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> listen to both. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, let's see. Uh, you want to move on to the news? Sure. <laughs> All right, so I have like a bunch of news items because it's been a while. So I'll just go through them quickly. Um, the first thing is Bungie splits from Activision, which is kind of... Yep. Yeah, were you going to talk about that? <laughs> no, 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 go ahead. Oh, no, I, I don't have anything else. I just know that they split from Activision. Oh, okay. Um, I, I mean, I guess it, it was just at the same time. I, I forgot the um, the person name, the head person name from Blizzard, Mark mm-hmm. something. Yeah, yeah. I was going to yeah, but- mention Blizzard. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So it, it's kind of like it, it's it's showing like oh, Activision is kind of taking over yeah. in a way. Yep. Yeah, because like yeah. <laughs> when I heard that, I'm like, okay, they're kind of uh, setting the path for possibly Blizzard splitting. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of a good thing because what well, I mean, we only know the rumors, right? We don't know the mm. actual facts, but with the right. way it, you know the uh, the outcomes that have happened because of Activision decisions, it's been kind of like iffy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So, so the other news item I have is they're making a live action Barbie movie. Um, and Margot Robbie is going to be playing as Barbie. So, oh. Man, I don't know what you think about that. I don't even know where to start with Barbie. So. I don't know how you're going to make a live action movie of Barbie. 
it's just I yeah I don't understand yeah like how is it gonna be a movie movie I don't know and I think like yeah maybe, maybe we don't know enough about the world to make that assumptions <laughs> okay I thought you meant the world in general I'm like oh you mean the Barbie world yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> Haha, uh-huh, Barbie World. Isn't that the lyric of the song? <laughs> yeah, I know. The moment you said like, I was laughing deep down. Uh, next thing is Mortal Kombat. Um, they're actually... The live-action movie's on hold because James Wan isn't uh, getting support from uh, the higher-ups for his vision of the movie. So that's really unfortunate. And uh, But the uh, animation movie is a go. So they're going to make an animated movie of Mortal Kombat. Oh, so I didn't know they were making a Mortal Kombat movie. Yeah, it's been in the talks for a while, but I think now they got the go-ahead for the animated movie. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and I think that's something you would watch, right? Because it's animated? Maybe. I just need to see if it's good or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Based on the trailer. Yeah, I don't think there's any like anything right now for that. Yeah, so... Uh, I got it, Tony. I was going to go back to, to uh, something, but... Huh? Go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say like so. So I watched uh, Into the Spider Verse yeah. uh, yesterday, uh-huh. and then I don't know, man. Like I, I have like mixed feelings about it. Uh-huh. Like I, it's I don't think it's bad. I think it's good. Uh-huh. But it's not like as amazing as I thought it would have been. Story or, like overall, like the visuals were were spectacular. Mm-hmm. But the story wise, I was like, okay, <laughs> it's 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 nice. It's good, but it didn't. It wasn't enough to like wow me. Hmm. So I'm like, oh. That's interesting. I mean, at the same time, I could see that because they're trying to introduce so many different versions of Spider-Man. Mm. Like, they weren't able to flesh out Spider-Ham or Penny Parker or Spider-Noir. Mm. So, mm. Spider-Man Noir, which I would really like to see more of. So, <clears throat> No, I, I think for me, like... No, I, I agree with you. But I think for me, it was just more like... Uh, I'm trying to think of how to say it without spoiling it for people. Well, this is... I would say this is a type of coming-of-age movie. And then the 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 part where it's a coming of age is not really strong enough to justify that it was a coming of age movie. Does that make oh, sense? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say that. Yeah, I think it's just like some of the story points that I would just uh, like the the trans the character transition into like I understand the power sort of thing wasn't mm-hmm. as well developed. It was it felt kind of rushed at the end for me. Yeah, yeah. That that's pretty much what I was trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. yeah. So I think that that part was just like. If it just spent a little bit more time, mm-hmm. it would have been nice. I, I think that they probably like spent so much time in the build up and then like mm-hmm. near the end they're like, Oh crap, we're running out of money. We we need to finish this movie fast. <laughs> yeah. So Yeah, yeah, I don't even know if it's like a a, a money thing, but I, I felt like when I was watching I was like, Oh no. If, if uh the mo it was like a questionable thing for me, whereas like if the movie was longer, will the whole style become like gimmicky? Mm, that's true and you just because you know how like in the first like maybe 30 minutes like wow this is cool this is cool too this is so cool mm-hmm. and then uh, later on you're like okay I got it I got it now just yeah move on. no no that that is true I, I was excited with the style up until half point of the movie yeah and then... so, and that's why I was like oh man if if this is longer I'm for me personally I might feel like it, it might be uh, gimmicky mm-hmm. it always starts getting to like, being a gimmick but it was just like sweet, a uh, sweet enough time where it's oh everything just ended properly, mm-hmm. or it ended at the right amount of time where I felt oh this is great, I, I like the style and mm-hmm. nothing was overwhelming. Mm-hmm. And yeah. man, that that Stan Lee cameo though, that was like that was good. That, that was, was good. so good. <laughs> so we're not gonna spoil it for you guys, but you should you should watch it if you uh, if you get a chance. It was a I just like the ending, the oh, after credits. Yeah, and stay after the credits for like um, kind of like a tribute. It's <laughs> it's it's pretty good. Yes, it's pretty, pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about the other after a, a credit, right? Did you I know that? I only saw one. What was that? I only saw one. There was the mid credit and the after credit. The mid credit was was a kind of like a dedication. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I meant the after after credit. Yeah, yeah, but that was pretty funny. And actually, um, one of the voices that you heard was actually Stanley. Really? Yeah, yeah. If you go back to it, you'll 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 see it. Oh, cool. Yeah, but uh. I- Speaking of Marvel, um, since we're talking about that, uh, mm-hmm. New Mutants and Dark Phoenix are going to be the final movies of the Fox Men universe. I say Fox Men because it's X Men by Fox. Yeah, <laughs> I was like X Men. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, there's possibly no Deadpool spinoff of Deadpool X Force. Mm. So that's going to suck. That 
there's none. Yeah, because uh, Disney is almost finished with the buyout. So. Oh. Oh. I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And then Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is getting a reboot again. Two <laughs> D. No, like live action movie. Oh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we just got really sad. I know because it's like, it's like yeah. You're like really? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to say anymore. Yeah. Um, speaking of sequels and reboots, uh, Mission Impossible is getting two more movies. <laughs> I was like, dude, how old can Tom Cruise get and do crazy stuff for that movie, you know? I mean, look at Jackie Chan. Yeah, but have you seen The Foreigner? <laughs> it was pretty bad. I mean, that, that's, that's, and that's, and that's where the age ends, right? <laughs> oh yeah, that, that is true. <laughs> so when he, when Tom Cruise is that old, then he can only do <laughs> movies like those. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, Ghostbusters is actually getting another movie, and this is actually going to be set in the original Ghostbusters universe. So that's cool. Um, is this another reboot? I think so. I think I think it's not a reboot, but like a soft reboot that's a sequel. Kind of like how the Men in Black um, International one is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, John Wick 3. Did you see the trailer for John Wick 3? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, it's, I don't know, that's standard. Yeah, I, I actually like the incorporation of Attack Dogs. Because it's such. Is a, that what it was? Oh, okay. At the very end, like of the oh, trailer, right. because I think they he, I think they had like two German shepherds that like jump and attacked the bad guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I just feel like John Wick has always been a a series about getting revenge for the dog, and then mm. now they're actually having the dog fight back. You know, <laughs> a fight. Yeah. <laughs> ha puns. Ha. <laughs> Uh, um let's see see, oh. see when you said that like mm-hmm. I, i'm just thinking that's kind of like uh, in, t- in like game term that's like a feel or power up so uh-huh. so if the dog in the middle of combat if the dog dies it just makes him it powers him up even more <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad but that's what i'm thinking yeah the, yeah didn't you say that there was that um uh someone commented on john wick 3 about yeah. thanos or something yeah yeah, uh, yeah. Th- let me see if i can find the thing yeah, there was actually a video of that. There was like a, a video, a 3D rendered video of like mm-hmm. um, five ways to defeat Thanos. Mm-hmm. And then one of them was Doctor Strange took a dog and then threw it at Thanos. And then and then like after Thanos like stopped the dog and stuff like that. And then the camera uh, cut to a uh, meanwhile in another place. John Wick is like, where's my dog? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it, was, it was a pretty good um, um, kind of like mashup. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so, so the comment read, uh, Thanos is so lucky he didn't wipe out John Wick's dog. <laughs> yeah, with a snap. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, um, and just to clarify, listeners, we are actually both dog people. So uh, in case we you... Love dogs. <laughs> yeah, we, we love dogs. <laughs> just in case you guys are wondering. Because um, <laughs> I, I used to have a dog, and you did too. Uh, mm-hmm. You actually had two. Yeah. And, um, and then Diala has a dog right now. And... And what was it? When I was in um, school, my my uh, classmate, my housemate, also had a dog. So, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So whole life for me has been around dogs, and I actually like just going to see dogs at the adoption center. Just like you know, saying hi. I know it's weird. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna start anno- uh, avoiding you now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, okay, so the last news item uh, before we go to the topic is uh, there's gonna be a Power Rangers fighting game called Battle for the Grid. Then it's going to be released for consoles. So it's going to draw up characters from like the last 20 years or 25 years or so. Um, mm. That is insanely a lot of characters. Yeah. What do you call it? Yep. Okay. So um, is go it going to be like a, a fighting game? Kind of like a, a regular platform? Or a 2D side-scrolling thing? Or is it going to be more like uh, those 3D Dragon Ball 1? Um, it's, uh, it's 3D rendered in a 2D plane. Okay, got it. But it's weird because they were not really uh, clear with um, how the gameplay is. They were mm-hmm. like saying, oh, it's not about, um, what was it? They said, it's not about how you strike, but when you strike. So then it it feels like to me, it's not going to be a standard fighting game, but it's going to be one mm-hmm. of those games where you swipe or you press buttons at a certain time, mm-hmm. which isn't really a fighting game. Oh. Like that's more it, like a mobile game. It go, Going on top of that, uh, one of my colleague yesterday, he was talking about a game. I, I forgot the name, um, but it's pretty much like robots fighting. Mm-hmm. But you can go multiplayer or co-op, where like uh, one person controls the bottom of the robot. Is imagine like a Megazord, uh-huh. 
one person control a part of the robot. Each person control uh, a part of robot. So one mm-hmm. person would like, turn and, and attack. Another person would like just walk around, and they have guns on the legs, so they could shoot as well. Is it like um? Is it is it a fighting game or is it like an action game? No, it's like a fighting game. So you're fighting other rob. From what I saw, anyways, it was like a fighting game, but it's not mm-hmm. like the um the standard uh side a two D plane one, but it's like a three D arena. Huh. Yeah. So it's, it was interesting. That's cool. I mean, that that gives you the closest feel to to controlling a Megazord. Yeah. Exactly. Or yeah, Voltron. Yeah. Voltron. <laughs> Megazord. That's yeah. exactly what I thought. Cool. I, I, uh, can you figure out that game name? And, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll let you know once I figure it out. Yeah, because I, w- I want to try it out. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's all the news items. Uh, do you have anything else? Uh, no, I think I'm good for now. Okay. Topic of the episode. Cool. Um, so our topic of the episode was suggested by uh, Adam Redding of the Super Best Friends Video Game Sleepover podcast. And he says... Curious about your take on the new Spidey trailer. Is it too soon? I've been avoiding it because I'm pretending, but I'm trying to pretend that I don't know Spider-Man will be totally fine until at least after I watch Avengers Endgame. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, yeah. What do you think about the trailer? Yeah, I think it's a very valid uh, concern, uh, question because uh, I I, th- I thought the same thing too. I was like, is this after the Thanos incident or before? Yeah. So. So it was kind of vague because there's a lot of people still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the the other thing was um, that uh, I, f- I also feel odd. It, it feels odd to me that Tony Stark is not in that trailer. Yeah. Like, if this was after Avengers Endgame, then maybe did Tony Stark die? I don't know. Right, right. But, I mean, Happy was there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I, I don't know. It, it feels, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, I think like a long time ago, Kevin Feige, the guy who heads Marvel um, movies, movies, Marvel Studios, um, he stated that it would it you could still tell stories of the characters before Avengers: Infinity War, and he was I think trying to imply that some of the movies that we'll see are not chronologically um, at the right at the spot that we think it is. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I think I think that that's uh, pretty true because it seems like it. There seems to be like people living like nothing happened before. Yeah. Um, and then, based on on what I saw, I was like, okay, this looks like it's something beforehand where a lot of, uh, where it's still people are still lively and people live out because the like, kids are going on like a year trip. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, I'm pretty sure if, if Thanos killed everybody or half the population, then there's more concerning things. Then well, but oh, so you're saying that this could be a lot before, but I I think it could also be after Avengers Endgame when they may have fixed everything. Mm, well, we'll I have no idea, man. I, I I don't know. It, it's that doesn't seem like a thing for me at the okay. moment. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like I thought. Yeah, I don't know. What What else do you think about the trailer, though? Like, what do you think about Mysterio? Yeah, I think that was like he. Was, I didn't know if he was a good guy or a bad guy. Yeah, I know, right? It was confusing. Uh, I was like, "Oh wait, is he a bad guy? Wait, what, what, is he helping out? Is he? I don't know anymore." <laughs> is he? I mean, is he manipulating? Like, is he making this look like he's a hero so people worship him? Like, yeah, because you know, yeah, so it's it's confusing. And then at the same time, I thought Mysterio cannot cause actual things to happen. I thought his powers are all illusion. I thought so too. But I, I also found out that he's a Europe-based superhero. Oh, is he? I don't know. It looks like it because they're going to Europe. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it just seems like it. You know, and it's pretty interesting, too, that they have Jake Gyllenhaal because I, I, a, a long time ago during the Tobey Maguire days, Jake Gyllenhaal actually came up as a potential Peter Parker. Oh, really? Yeah. So now he's actually in a Spider-Man movie. He's just not Peter. <laughs> it's like that quote from Batman. It's like either <coughs> you, you die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become a villain. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that quote. Live long enough. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, actually, no, we, we don't know yet because we don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. He might just die. If he's a hero, we know he's going to die. Huh. Okay. <laughs> but you know that the globe head, it actually didn't look as bad as I was expecting. No, it was nice. I think that was the only reason I knew it was Mysterio. Yeah, that's his iconic thing. Yeah. But the whole, like, smoky green, like a, haha, it's green screen. 
<laughs> or <laughs> <laughs> smoke and mirrors and the green green smoke. Um, but that whole thing was kind of odd to me too. That it was like the green smoke stuff. But I mean, that, that's iconic, isn't it? I'm not really sure. Yeah, I don't really know a lot of things about this. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I thought it was interesting. Mm-hmm. It had a lot of, it definitely raised a lot of questions about the whole event relation to Avengers. Yeah, and then that Nick Fury is actually in his Nick Fury gear because I thought the last time we saw him, he was not like that. Like he had hair and he was on the run and wearing like a leather, leather jacket or something. Wait, Nick Fury had hair? Oh wait, you know what? That was before Infinity War. Never mind. Oh. Or oh. he didn't have a hair, but he wore like a beanie. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, it was I think after after uh, was it Age of Ultron or I don't remember anymore. Too long ago. <laughs> okay. But he will have hair in Captain Marvel because Captain Marvel is based in the 90s. Oh, is it? Okay, I know that. Yep, it's based in the 90s and Nick Fury will have two eyes and hair. <laughs> it is, uh, you know, when you say he has two eyes, I was like, it sounds like common sense, but then I realized, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we have anything else to talk about on this. Uh, no, other than that, uh, there wasn't anything too crazy. It was just like a, 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 the question. I don't know if it's like he asked if it's too soon, right? The um, so mm-hmm. I I don't think it's too well. When is the the end game supposed to? I think like least? April or May. I think end of April. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's April. <laughs> yeah, I guess like depending on, on how how it is chronologically. Mm-hmm. But I mean, if, if Spider Man is being released after April, yeah, yeah, it is. Then um, then what you said before about like being. Uh, the world being, or the universe being repaired. That yeah, be... we don't know everything. You know, Marvel does a very good job of still keeping us guessing. Cause yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. All right. Um. Okay. So we can move on to something else. Um. I wanted to kind of go back to Mortal Kombat okay. because wait, what? I said okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Because um, today was the big Mortal Kombat 11 reveal, and mm-hmm. um, yeah. Uh, they released the story. Um, trailer, and they also released gameplay. And um, uh, what do you think? I only saw the trailer, but it looked interesting. So it, it, it feels like there's a. From what I saw, I don't know anything about the Mortal Kombat universe, but it's like there's like a, a higher power that was behind a lot of things. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I, I thought like story wise, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you haven't been a fan of Mortal Kombat as long as I have. Mm-hmm. And um, back in Mortal Kombat Seven. They mm-hmm. had this um, this Armageddon thing, like Mortal Kombat Armageddon, and the story was we are all part of the one being, and then because the the power level of everybody was so um, powerful that the universe is being shattered apart, and then this one mm-hmm. being thing is like overseeing everything and blah blah blah, and then there was like this one being that was basically encompassing the universe. So when they did that, I was just like. Okay, after this storyline, like, how can you have any story that can, you know, be as insane, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, so when they brought this back and said that there's a higher power, I'm like, again? <laughs> like, it's... Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, like, again, there's orchestrating the events, and then when they said, oh, yeah, there's going to be some time travel, I'm like, again? Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know, but Mortal Kombat 9 was a- all about time travel. Oh, okay. Because... Mortal Kombat 9 was basically um, after Armageddon, right? Like, Mortal Kombat 7 or 8 or something was Armageddon. And mm-hmm. then at the end of Armageddon, like, Shao Kahn was going to kill Raiden. But Raiden wanted to prevent Armageddon, so he sent a message to his younger self back from the Mortal Kombat 1 tournament. And then mm-hmm. the whole thing for Mortal Kombat 9 was you're playing through the storyline of Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, but with mm-hmm. little changes to the timeline. Oh. Yeah, so... It was like Terminator almost. I don't know. <laughs> so, what, when they like mentioned like, oh, they're going to bring back some of the old characters, I automatically thought of like um, uh, a brawl uh-huh. or Smash Brothers. Yeah. Where they bring like all the characters in from all the previous version. Yeah. So like, oh, is it going to be like a, a, more co- a, a, sma- a more combat version of Smash Brothers? I know, where right? Where they have all the characters from all the games previously. Yeah. Now, that would be crazy if this was, like, another type of that. They did that with Mortal Kombat Armageddon. It had every single character before Mortal Kombat Armageddon. That was 7, you said, right? Uh, I think it was... I think it was 7. It was okay. 5, 6... Yeah, I think it was 7. What was Mortal Kombat 8? Was there one? Now I'm hmm. curious. 
I'm mixing it up because seven and eight were pretty murky. Maybe maybe more combat eight was Armageddon. Which one was more combat seven? Let's see. Yeah, seven was Armageddon. What the heck was eight then? <laughs> I search for eight and it also shows up as Armageddon. <laughs> what the heck? Armageddon and still Armageddon. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know then. Okay, uh, but but we we'll see what happens. Uh, and let let me know how how you feel about the whole thing. Cause I I guess I know how the feeling that you're talking about. If like you revealed the end game early on already, and then you're trying to play off like nothing happened, and mm-hmm. you do something similar. Uh huh. Yeah, it's, it's a bit annoying actually. It feels oh. like the opposite. Oh, sorry. I I just looked it up. Mortal Kombat Eight. I remember this now. Mortal Kombat Seven Armageddon was kind of like the last chapter of like the whole storyline. And then mm-hmm. Mortal Kombat Eight, they started making it. And then um, they were going to make it a very very dark, gritty, serious, super serious, serious and mature um, game. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the their their bosses got into contract with DC. So then they had to make they had to scrap the project and then work on Mortal Kombat versus DC. Oh, that's just how. Okay. Yeah. And then after that, then they did more combat nine. So eight was kind of like skipped. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Anyway. So would that mean that they'll they'll have DC characters for more more combat versus DC? Yeah, back no, then they for, they did it for for uh, eleven. Oh, I don't know, cause um, more combat X they had like outside characters, like horror movie characters. Oh, they had like it's... Alien and Predator and Leatherface <laughs> and Jason. <laughs> like it was so random, but but they had a bunch of those. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um. Any other comments? Nope. Okay. You 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 got mail. You 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 got mail. You 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 got mail. You you. Let's you. move on to the oh so long conversation about the community question. Uh, okay. The community question last time was, "What is your favorite chicken dish?" Uh oh, chicken tender. Cool. Cool. That was a quick answer. I'm yeah. going to read everything now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read a lot of it, not all of it. Um, Kinetic from Enthusiax has, says chicken cutlets. Judge Greg says buffalo wings. Dark Princess says chicken tenders with wing sauce. I don't do oh, bones. Okay. And then <laughs> Judge Greg says, hey, phrasing. And then, <laughs> and then Dark Prince says, just put a picture of someone giggling. Um, almost better than silence, just put what have you done and then show the picture of their notification screen that said 99 plus notifications. <laughs> from this conversation <laughs> and then judge greg says i expect a full recap on the next ntftt bot uh, let's see kinetic says i'm not going to check this thread anymore what was that you have expectations to fill now i know kinetic actually sent uh, um, a link to a recipe that was pretty good um it's like avocado chicken mm-hmm. and john leola what what he says what did he say oh oh yeah john leola just says um get right on this please about like recapping it <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, who else? Monster Closet says chicken and white wine sauce. That's pretty good, actually. It sounds good. Yeah. Dark Princess responds with, dang, look at you over at the adults table. <laughs> 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 um, let's see. And then uh, Monster Closet says, I'll have you know I'm not averse to a chicken burger. And then Dark Princess says, that sounds so good. John Leola, for real, stop, guys. Yesterday I was craving a burger because I heard it on the podcast. Don't make me crave chicken. And then Kinetic sent another recipe. <laughs> and then John said, looking good. And then, oh, my gosh, this is like... And then Judge Greg said, do you use Pillsbury Grand Biscuits? And then Kinetic says, crescent rolls are better. Uh, and then Dark Princess says, tried to start dieting today. And then, <laughs> I don't... Okay, I'm going to skip a lot of these. I'm going to try to find people that I haven't read from yet. Um... Oh, and then John Layola, which is from One Track Gamers of Corey and Amanda, uh, he says, call me a basic bro because I can't think of much, so I'll just go with spicy fried chicken. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. So, uh, what question do you want for this week? Oh, God. It's so hard to follow up with that. I question. know. How do I even... Uh, uh... Oh, what is... Hmm. What is your favorite foreign dish? Like, foreign meaning, like, not your normal food? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That's, that's... I like carne asada fries. <laughs> <laughs> Those are pretty good, actually. Yeah, mm. carne asada fries. I can't have fries right now because I'm on keto. But carne asada fries. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm trying to remember what what is it called. Oh, I like ceviche. ceviche oh, that's good. Cool. All right. Cool. All right. Let's move on to game time. I want ceviche. Damn it, Tony. <laughs> All right. So game time. We just do a quick game of the heads up thing. Um, sure. What what uh, topic do you want? 
Uh, movies, um, accents, impression, TV shows, blockbuster movies. Uh, um, let's do uh, let's video do games. Hits of the games, 90s. Video games or something. Oh, video games. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. What the heck is this? Uh, uh, the, the Reaper. What's his first name? Grim. Okay. Grim Fandango. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Um, the Iron Fist, the King of the Iron Fist tournament. Huh? Uh, uh. Law, Forest Law is in it. Um, so it's oh, wrong. Tekken. Yeah, okay. Um, this game is uh, w- when the ground shakes and it is... is Earth. It Earth? Okay. Quake. What? Yes, it's Quake. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, this is uh, a, a first-person shooter that's team-based. Um, uh, kind of like Fortnite. League. Oh, well, sorry, team-based. Uh, it's w- kind of like League. Oh, yeah, Overwatch. But, okay. Um, this pink dude just, like, sucks on things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, this is named after two two instruments. Guitar and oh, it's two t- two characters. They're named after two instruments. Uh, oh, banjo kazooie. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, this is tennis, the first electronic version. Pong. Yes. Um, <laughs> um respect your <laughs> outer scroll. Up. Yes. Far away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this is um, aliens that come to attack. Invaders, space invaders. Yes. Um, oh, uh, ooh, there was a movie about this girl who was a robot, and they were trying to figure out like if that robot was um, a human or not. Like, Android. No. Uh, Ro Emil something. Oh my gosh! How do I even? Okay. Uh, what's the n- opposite of night? Day. Okay. Not them, but. Uh, not them, but us. Okay, and then. The letter that's what a night oh, no, no, no. the letter near Z Deus X yes Deus X okay uh and your favorite game Mega Man yes okay time's up perfect uh uh well done Tony well done it's funny I like the Elder Scroll one <laughs> well it's funny because I, I when I made the best of episode um for the end of the year mm-hmm. I was going through old old clips and one of the clips that. I put in the best of episode was this game in which you got the word Elder Scrolls. And then you were going to say, respect your, and then I was, I was like, respect your Elder Scrolls. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know I did that. <laughs> yeah, you did. I, that's, that's pretty good, Tony. That's really good. I like it. Because <laughs> that was when it was all three of us playing that game. Uh, and you were trying to give the clue to us. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you have the games or something? Uh, no, but I could prep it. Hold on. Give me one moment. Okay. Uh, do you want... I assume you want video games? Yeah, sure. <laughs> this is the easiest. It's also typically what people can play al- along with when they're listening. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's true. Uh, where are you? Yeah. I'll just make a list. Let's see. What's... Uh... Okay. All right. Let me. You should probably just get the app. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna try to find one that you haven't done yet. All right. Um, let me get a timer up. Two minutes. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. <coughs> Ooh. Hey, right. Uh, okay, I'm going to start now. Okay. Kermit the... Frogger. Tetris. Okay. Oh, God. I... Uh, blue g- uh, fast blue guy. Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, God. Uh, if something... Uh, you say something and then... Uh, it's the opposite of that. What's that called? Uh, you, con- contradiction? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the first part. Contra? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this, uh, this creature, with, or this insect with many legs. Spider-Man. More than, more than that. Octopath like, Traveler. Like 100. What the? 100, 100 legs. legs. What has 100 in, legs? In, insect with 100 legs. Insect with 100 legs? Millipede? Oh, centipede? Centipede. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. In space, these they're meteors. Another word for meteor. Asteroids. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, uh, okay. When you're sick, you go to the doctor. 
Okay, a classic game of with a plumber. Mario, Doctor Mario. Yeah. Uh, if you hide in a box, they can't see you. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I was gonna say Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Plumbers and friends driving around a uh, Mario Kart a track. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay. Ooh. This, oh, it's done. Just go ahead with the last one. Okay. God, this one's the hardest one. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess this is, uh, one of the female protagonists in a suit in space. What? Bayonetta? <laughs> Wait, say that again? No. In, in, a. Uh, oh, in space. Oh. Myster- <laughs> female Mysterio. A female Mysterio? That uh, she- Metroid? Yes. Oh, super much. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. I guess that's true. She has that that's glow. That's the most head. I could think of for a quick answer. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's move on to the final lap. Anything to promote? Um, same as always, uh, check out my friend uh, Vince with the handle Hype Man, Hype Man Vince. Uh, always handle of uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube, Snapchat. Etc. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything except Twitch. Yeah. Um, and it's funny. He, out, it's uh, funny. He's a streamer though, but he's doing everything except Twitch. Yeah. Uh, and also check out our friend uh, uh, Steve at mindfulbuilder.com. He help. He builds stuff. Yeah. And if you can't build it, he'll tell you where to get it for cheap. Yep. Um, yeah. And then you guys can follow us on social media. I've been posting a video a week of gameplay on our YouTube page and occasional random pictures on Instagram and tweets as necessary i guess <laughs> and uh uh yeah i mean i don't really use our facebook page a lot like not many people follow us on facebook so which is fine because i think most of the conversation stays on twitter we have, we have a facebook page exactly <laughs> yeah facebook instagram twitch stri- uh uh was it um not not snapchat uh streaming on twitch uh youtube youtube yeah. youtube oh yeah yep Okay, cool. Um, and if nothing else, um, oh yeah, you guys can also follow the Loosely Connected for any other you know similar podcast that you may enjoy. Um, but if nothing else, then no time for time travel. Signing off. Heard and warp speed. See ya. Bye. Come with me if you want to live. No time for time travel.